turning back round to face the sea, it makes sense. It feels right. Climate change is happening. It, it's here to stay. It's not going to go anywhere, so we best get to be doing something about it now. We've switched our gaze as, a, as humanity towards a greener way of fueling our future. It just proves what the local community and the people can do. So now we can do this. Let's see what else we can do as well. Historically, Grimsby has definitely always had a strong relationship with the sea. We're born out of fishing. And the legacy of that is visible all around the town. My grandfather was a, um, he was a fisherman on the boats and all his, family were, uh, all his family were fishermen and stuff. Since that decline, I think there's been something missing. I think this is where the wind industry has now come in. Grimsby and the wider Humber region is part of the energy estuary, which provides 25% of all UK's electricity. The Humber region has, has always been quite a carbon heavy or carbon rich region. We supplied in the past a lot of power stations in the Air and Trent Valley in particular with coal. But now we could be known as like the renewable industry, which is even better. What we've seen in these last uh, seven or eight years is increasingly companies like ours, companies involved in offshore wind, actually basing themselves here because it's a great location to be working out, out at sea. We are on that wave now with Hornsey, the world's biggest offshore wind site. It feels huge. Hornsey One is the largest offshore wind farm in the world. A single rotation, a single turn of the blades, on its own produce enough electricity to power a typical UK house for 24 hours. It can power up to a million homes and it never fails to amaze me how big these things are. It's just massive. <laughs> Look at one of the towers of the Humber Bridge. The Hornsey Field wind turbines stand taller than that. And there's 174 of them. Ten years ago, a wind farm at this size, a wind farm this far offshore, was like putting a man on the moon type of mission. Hornsey One obviously so far offshore that there's no land reference whatsoever. It does hit home that you are in the middle of the North Sea. All of a sudden with Hornsey One we've shown you can make offshore wind power at the scale of conventional power stations. When you see the turbine that is the machine and the technology. It's the solution for affecting climate change positively. It shows that through development, evolution and with the sheer passion, we can get there. It's ultimately working towards one goal, a shared goal that we all have, and that is tackling climate change. I think people need to be made aware of what we've got on our doorstep. In Grimsby now, people can literally walk out of their door, walk to the dock, go to work offshore and come back again. It does start to attract more interest, more companies. Siemens, Orsted, they're all right here in the energy estuary, which means that they are there, they are accessible. The offshore wind is raising the bar of jobs that are available because the type of job and the skill set probably wasn't available locally. And that is why it's the perfect location to be able to get into it, whether it is an apprenticeship or the university side of things. It's inspiring, especially for the younger generation as well, because they'll be the ones that are going to be heavily influenced by all this. They're going to be like, what on earth do I do next? But then they're going to look and be like, oh, well, there's actually a load of companies around us that are going to set us up for life. So let's go to them. <laughs> Me and my sister are both working for Austed. I've got a brother who works for Siemens. Collectively, we're still doing the same job. We still have the same vision to create this green energy. It's nice to be on this journey but to share it with them and to watch them have their own career and be on their own journey, that's everything to me. What we're doing is building a future for not just the, the local area, the, our country, 
the planet, but also our future generations. You know, they are sustainable industries. They will supply energy in a clean way for many, many years to come. It's giving particularly the younger generations and even their children in the future. We can see the hope and aspiration of a growing industry in renewables. And actually, we really would like the young people of Grimsby to have access to that same kind of feeling. Actually connecting with the youth zones is key for us to get that message across to the younger generation that, the, that there is a different future, there is hope. The place we're on the side of building our Grimsby youth zone is where the old smokehouse was. Just as the wind is regenerating and creating electricity, we're going to regenerate these buildings in the middle of town, in the middle of Grimsby, for young people to have an opportunity to change their lives and do things differently. Once you're through, you've obviously got all of this, and then you can have a go to the sports hall, the kitchen, the inclusion room, climbing wall, mentoring kitchen, performing arts, the arts and crafts fitness suite, boxing, boathouse. Without big companies investing in us, we'd never ever be able to make this happen. But we've also been such a local company, they can actually like come in and see it for themselves. It's important to provide young people with opportunities so that they understand that it's more about what they put into life determines what they get out, not their environment and the circumstances. It's going to be great looking back when I'm like an old pensioner or something and it would just be like for like the grandchildren and stuff to all just go there and be like, I actually helped do this. I don't, it's just pride, it's just, yeah. Offshore wind is now an opportunity repeating around the world and we see more coastal communities similarly seeing an opportunity for renewal and rejuvenation and, and growth and jobs, you know, from offshore wind. We've got the, the eyes of the world on us. We're groundbreaking. We're doing things on a global scale. And to be able to say that one of the most sustainable companies in the world is based in Grimsby, it excites the people of Grimsby to be able to say, this is in our home. And the fact that Allstead have chosen to be a part of the youth zone story means that, that they're part of that. It's part of a bigger picture. I've been at Orsted now for five years and I've seen so much change in the five years. So it's going to be exciting to see what's going to happen in the next year, let alone five years. For me it's exciting because we are making this difference in the world and hopefully it will lead to a world run on green energy. That close relationship with the sea is continuing. It's just continuing with a new industry, a new industry taking its turn following on from that long history. Once historically a fishing town, now historically green pioneers. Turning back round to face the sea, it makes sense. Oh, don't we fish The North Sea is arguably one of the best places that you would ever put an offshore wind turbine. So it's here to stay.